Welcome to Unbound Learners Pre-K. My name is Nina. How are you all feeling today? That's great to hear. Are you ready to sing a song with me? Make your arms into a big circle like this. Raise them up high and back out in front of you. Now let's sing. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Thanks for singing with me. Do you see this big board in back? This is my calendar and weather chart. It has different pictures and lots of different numbers on it. Today is November 30th and the year is 2020. And look at that. Do you see that today is the very last day of the month of November? Wow. Before we talk about what day it is, will you sing a song with me? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yesterday was Sunday. So that means that today is, can anybody guess? That's right, today is Monday. And that means that tomorrow will be Tuesday. You're right. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. Today is Monday all day long. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. Today is Monday all day long. Now at the top of my chart, I have this picture. This is where the season is. Based on this picture, does anybody know what the season is? That's right, the season is fall. The leaves have started to change color and many of them have already fallen off of the tree. Down here, I have a picture of the weather. I also have a weather song. Will you sing with me? What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? Right now where I live, the weather is windy. When I look outside, I see the branches blowing in the trees, and I can even see some leaves swirling around in the air. That means that the temperature is cool. So when I go outside later, I'll make sure and wear a light jacket over my clothes. What's the weather like where you live? Is it snowing already? Or maybe it's cloudy and rainy? Or maybe it's a beautiful sunny day outside? On this side of me, I have the letter of the week. Does anybody know what letter this is? This letter says Hmm, what letter says k, k, k? Do you know? That's right. This is the letter C, and this is a lowercase c. C says k, k. Can I hear that sound one more time? K, k, k. The letter C. And inside of my letter and number box, I have something that starts with the letter C. I'm going to give you a couple of hints and I want you to make a guess. Are you ready for your first hint? Okay. This is a type of an animal. This animal can be black and white or it can be brown and it likes to live on a farm. Can you guess what it is? That's right. This is a cow. Cow starts with the letter C. I also have a number right here. This is the number of the week. Does anybody know what number this is? That's right, this is the number one. Let me see you hold up one finger like this. Good, 
Number one. And in my number box, I have this. Does anybody know what it is? That's right, this is a twig. A twig is a small branch that has fallen from a tree. One twig. And lowercase c. So for the next four weeks, we are going to be learning about different types of habitats. A habitat is a type of environment where plants and animals live. Now there are all different types of habitats around the world, but this week we are going to be talking about hot deserts. A hot desert has very harsh living conditions. It's very hot and dry there with not a lot of rainfall and very, very sandy. Hmm. Does anybody know what type of animals would like to live in a hot desert? Let's think. Snakes, lizards, scorpions. Those are a type of a bug. Coyotes. Can you think of anything else? A camel, that's right. Camel, do you hear the k sound? Camels start with the letter C. Now I said that hot deserts don't get a lot of rain, but I know one type of plant that thrives in a hot desert. Can you think of what type of plant that could be? A cactus, that's right. Cactus starts with the letter C. We'll talk more about that later this week. But for now, who's ready to do an activity? Put your finger on your nose if you're ready to see the activity. First, I'll show you what to do, and then once circle time is done, it will be your turn. For today's work, you will need two bowls, a spoon, and some sand. If you don't have sand, you can use salt, just like I did. Start off by filling one bowl with the sand or the salt. Pour enough so that it covers the bottom of the bowl almost halfway. Then use your spoon to scoop the sand or the salt from one bowl to the other. Keep scooping until the first bowl is empty and the other bowl is full. Then you can use your spoon to scoop the sand or the salt from the second bowl back to the first bowl. Notice that when your spoon is full with sand or salt, it helps to move slowly to prevent any spills. When there's a little bit of sand or salt left, I like to shake my bowl like this so that all the sand comes to the bottom. And I take my spoon, I can tilt the bowl at an angle and it helps to get that last remaining bit of sand or salt. Now this bowl is empty and this bowl is full. So you can take the spoon and go back and fill it back up. Welcome back. Remember, after circle time is over, it will be your turn to do that work tray. Today we talked about hot deserts and what they feel like and look like and the different types of plants and animals that live there. If you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe to our channel to see new videos that are posted every weekday morning. Thanks for learning with me and I'll see you tomorrow. Are you ready to sing a song again? Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends. I'll see you next time.